just think it's, you know, he's the first detective, you know? I mean, he's like the caveman of detectives, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's been there forever. And I, I think it, as, a, as a detective action guy, he started, you know? I mean, he just, yeah, I made a movie called Lethal Weapon, and there was Magnum P.I. I mean, there's been, you know, Agatha Christie. I mean, there's been a lot of detective kind of genre things, but it came from him. And, and it, it clearly shows that he's, he's, got, he's to the test of time, you know, where here we are in 2009, and we're still reinventing the guy. And I think this is the best version of him. I mean, I, of course, I'm going to say that. It's the one we made. But, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, I mean, I, I remember as a kid growing up and, and, you know, and watching the Sherlock Holmes movies, is it, you know, realizing they were important, because, but they were somber and stuffy and kind of interior. And, and this is a real action movie. And, and, and that's true to the book. It's true to the stories. It's true to who he was is this guy. And, mm. uh, and Downey just, you know, nails it. Well, Joel and I did work with Guy on Rock and Rolla. We had a, we had a great experience on that. And um, both prior to and right after Rock and Rolla, we had been working with him on developing things uh, at a bigger scale, like the scale of Sherlock. And uh, when we were doing that, he, he showed us the script to Rock and Rolla and, and uh, was anxious to go make something. So we did that, and that came across, obviously, Warner Brothers' radar because they distributed the movie. And uh, they gave him Sherlock to consider. And realizing that we had worked with him, we obviously have the relationship with Warner Brothers, Joel's history of making the movies at this scale in such a good way. They just thought it was like the perfect marriage of everyone. Well, I mean, Downey, yes. I mean, Downey, yes. I mean, you know, I've, I've known him for many years. Susan is a very personal relationship with him. <laughs> and, you know, and we, we, we right away said he's the guy, he can nail it, he's the guy. But, you know, we, we, we struggled with, with watching a little bit, I mean, which way to go exactly. And when we met Jude, it was perfect. I mean, it was kismet, you know. I mean, Jude and, and, and Robert met one day here at this very hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, uh, they got on really well. And, and, and Downey walked out of the meeting and said, we got him, you know. And I think that was it. I mean, the chemistry is so incredible because it's genuine I mean they really mm -hmm. care about each other like each other and I think that comes through in the movie and uh, I think that's the, you know, the, 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 the glue that holds the movie together well he definitely had a specific viewpoint that he wanted to show a very gritty realistic London so we felt like we were actually looking at what it might have looked like back in 1890 and that was incredibly appealing to us that was appealing to the studio and he tells sort of a funny story that his his idea was he wanted to have the experience of making a big studio movie on a grand scale and the studio wanted all the Guy Ritchie elements so in some ways he was fighting for for their cause and they were fighting for his and it ended up working out really well but it was great it got us to explore areas of London that I certainly have never seen and um, on screen before and there's so many rich areas to, to mine that that have buildings that existed back then and then do a little CGI and you have Guy Ritchie's uh, Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm.